NATO is the strongest alliance in history. And make no mistake, we will defend and protect every ally against any attack and every inch of NATO territory. And that's the reason also we have increased our presence in the eastern part of the alliance with thousands of more troops, ships and planes over the last weeks. To, to send a very clear message that an attack on one ally will trigger the response from the whole alliance. And we do so not to provoke a conflict, but to prevent the conflict. And today we activated NATO's defense plans that uh, gives uh, our military commanders um, um, more um, authority to move forces uh, and to deploy forces when needed. And of course, this could also be elements of the NATO response force. Uh, so we are uh, ready, we are uh, adjusting our posture, but what we do is defensive, is measured, and we don't see confrontation. We want to prevent the conflict. No, there are no NATO combat troops, no troops, uh, NATO troops at all inside Ukraine. Uh, we, we have made it clear that we don't have any plans and any intention of deploying NATO troops to Ukraine. Uh, what we have uh, made uh, clear is that we have already increased and we are increasing the presence of NATO troops in the eastern part of the alliance on NATO territory.